Would you like to sell a digital product online? Well, you can do that using ConvertKit. If you've got an ebook, a video, a how to guide, it could be a template, it could be an image, something that you want to sell, you can do that using ConvertKit. I'm going to show you how to do that now. So here's a sample product that I've got, which is a video with a checklist showing you what you need to upload your product. And then people can just click get it now. And there you go, they can go and pop in their details and buy it. So how do you set all of that up? First of all, if you're not familiar with ConvertKit, it is an email automation tool, very popular with creators. Now, even if you don't have an email list, you can still use ConvertKit just to sell your digital product, your ebook, your video, your image, your template. Well, you're probably asking, well, how much does that cost? Well, you can actually set it up using ConvertKit's free plan. Now, stay around for the end of this video because I'm going to show you how you can download this checklist that I've prepared to make it easy for you to go step by step through setting up this digital product. Now I should point out that right through this document I've got some links which are affiliate links so that if you sign up for ConvertKit's free plan and then eventually become a paid customer of ConvertKit then I'll get some commission from that. Now the ConvertKit free plan allows you to have up to a thousand people on your email list, a thousand addresses. So how much is it going to cost if you set up a digital product? Well, the only cost is the industry standard 3.5% plus 30 cents processing fee per transaction. So if you've got a product that costs, say, $10, then that would be 35 cents plus 30 cents per transaction, 65 cents. If your product is $100, then that would be $3.50 plus 30 cents. So not too onerous. Well, how do you go about setting it up? First of all, sign up to ConvertKit using my affiliate link. And if you've already got a ConvertKit account, then read on. Now, once you're signed up to ConvertKit, you will need to set up payments. I'm not going to go into details there, but the link is there on how to do that. That happens through Stripe. So you'll need to have a Stripe account once you've got your Stripe account, it took me maybe less than two minutes to set up payments to connect it through to convert ConvertKit. And then of course you need a product to sell. So we're going to follow the instructions from the ConvertKit create a product page. And what I've also got is that as you create this product, you're going to need to fill in some of the details as you go along. So I've got them all listed here in this uh, little guide on how you can sell a digital product via ConvertKit. So let's do it quickly right now. So I'm going to be creating a new product here. So new product. So I want to give it a good name and that could be something like how to write emails that, that get opened if you're a copywriter. So in this guide, I'll also include this uh, checklist from this spreadsheet here, which will help you put together everything that you need before you start to create your product. So the product itself, the first one might be a, a how-to guide, and the format might be a video format. So I'm going to have a free version. It might be a free checklist or a short video or something like that. And then I've got my starter pack. So this is the digital product that I want to sell. And then if you want, you could create a second digital product which has got more advanced options. Or this one, increase your email open rates. That might be just in written format. My freebie might be 10 top 10 subject lines that are going to increase the number of people who open your emails. And then your starter pack, a digital product might be a formula on how to create compelling opening lines for your emails and then your bonus pack could be after you have sent off the emails here's how to look at the analytics to see which emails have done the best or it could be a, a template of how to write your first five-part email course now you fill in the yellow boxes yourself for your own product 
and then you determine what format that could be, whether it's a PDF, whether it's a video, or a template of some kind, and then uh, what's your freebie, and then what's your digital product. And if you want, you can prepare for the bonus for your next digital product. So back to ConvertKit, and when we go into the product details, it's asking us for a name, and then it could be either a standard pricing, so this is just a one-off charge, and this is all in US dollars at the moment, that's all that's available for ConvertKit, or it could be a subscription, say a monthly subscription. So which one of those are you going to go for? I'm going to go for the standard here. Then we hit next. And now at this point, you could have a members only newsletter, so that's a paid newsletter, or something else, such as a coaching service. You can see how easy this is to set up in ConvertKit, but in fact, what I'm going to be offering here is a digital download. Now, one thing to note is that ConvertKit currently does not support bundles. So what that means is that you can only upload one file, one video, or one checklist, or one PDF, one document, and that's what it is for sale in your product. So how do you do it? Well, you just click on upload a file, and then that could be a video, it could be an image, and so I'm just going to upload this file just as a temporary example here and click open and, we're, and then we just wait for the upload to happen. Now while that's moving along, let's just jump back to our checklist here. And as you saw, your, your pricing could be standard and that's a one-off or subscription. And if you change that to subscription, then it changes this to per month. Just make that $10. And then you enter what kind of document or download you're going to have. And you're going to need an image for it. Well, you don't have to, but it's best to put in an image. And so I'll show you where to set that up. Here is what I estimate to be the size of the image. And then you'll need a description as well. Once again, this is all here in this document. And if you pop your email address in the link below, I will send you a copy of this along with a copy of your own checklist so that you can pop in your own numbers for your price. And I'm hoping to get 20 sales. Then this is how much that's going to be in projected revenue. And if every one of them is an individual sale, an individual transaction, here's how much will come to me. Once again, you can pop in whatever prices you want. We've got something for $99. You can see how the calculation is done. Now we go back to creating the product. And so we've got the product details, the fulfillment, the product file, and then we click next here. Now I'm going to skip over this part about the custom domain, but there is some documents on ConvertKit, which will allow you to put in your own special domain if you want to do that, or you can just use the one that they've got, Create Product. So you can see it's very fast and easy to use. And now what we need to do is, well, we've set the price already and we've set the product name. We now need to put in a little description. So I'm going to get rid of that. So I've got here in my guide, of. I've suggested about the name that you want to make it clear and direct and focus on the outcome if you can. Remember, by the time people have come to your ConvertKit page, they've already seen a video of yours or maybe you have recommended them personally that they have a look at your digital product or perhaps they have seen an email of yours or social media post or something like that. So they're not, they're not completely unknown to it. They're now at the sales page. And you really make it focused on the outcome, how to create a digital product. And then when we get to ConvertKit, we'll need to put in a description here of the product, as I said, just there. So we replace that standard description. And ideally, you want to make it uh, 20 to 50 words and try and make a really clear, concrete promise or we'll focus on the outcome. Or tell people what's included in the in the package in the video and why does it matter to them so here's my example here here's a step-by-step -step guide 
to selling your digital product via ConvertKit. You're going to get a video showing the process along with worksheets showing you what you need. So I'm going to copy and paste that into here. Now, by the way, you can play with the content styles with the fonts and the colors and all of that sort of stuff. Now, you probably want to change this picture. <laughs> and so to do that, you just click on click it, click on it and then replace. And you can download some beautiful picture from Unsplash if you want, or you can create your own. I'm just going to go with this one here. And we'll save. Now the next thing is that once people buy, they'll get sent to a confirmation page. Once again, what I'd recommend is this is a very generic confirmation page, but here's an opportunity for you to personalize it a little bit. So instead of saying your file has been emailed to you, you might say your video or your checklist or your cookbook has been emailed to you or your how to learn guitar video has been emailed to you along with a receipt for your transaction. Click the link below. And then once again, in the receipt email, now receipt emails get a really high open rate. People love to read the receipt to say, congratulations, here it is, your payment has gone through, your order has been processed successfully. So here's once again a chance for you to personalize it a little bit. So here are the details of your purchase. So once again, here's a chance for you to personalize that. You could say something like, we really hope that this helps you to get your email open rates up much higher. You could even include some little bonus here or maybe some opportunity to get them onto your email list or to opt in for something else or some other kind of upsell. So that's all done. You can play around with all of these fonts and colors and backgrounds and all of that sort of stuff. And then you hit save. And once you hit publish, there we are, we've now got a link that we can share on social media, or we can just copy that, click copy. And if you want to embed it on your website, you can copy that JavaScript, that one, one line of JavaScript onto your website. So that's it, if you would like to get this document, then pop in your email address using the link below, and you will get how to sell a digital product using ConvertKit, completely free, and it has links to how you can sign up for ConvertKit and I'll also include a link to this spreadsheet here where you can go in and, and open it in Google Sheets and go file, make a copy and you, you personalize that with your own name and then you can put in your own product name, work out whether it's going to be a standard or a, an ongoing recurring product, a subscription. And then you can put your price in, work out projected sales, and then get your digital upload ready for sale on ConvertKit so that you can start to be earning money while you are sleeping. It really does happen.